hmm, I want to mount this flag here and turn it over, but there is no spot to mount it. Ah, uh, what am I going to do? going. I have a problem here. I want to mount this flag on Tim Rover, but the problem is that there is no mounting bracket on Tim Rover to mount a flag. There are some RVs that have the uh, mounting bracket, but on Tim Rover there is not one. So I have an additional tip or an idea that you guys might like. You can mount your flag on your rig anytime you want, anywhere you want. So come on back and I'll show you how to do that. So the items you're going to need here, you're going to need a flagpole bracket I picked up at the local hardware store, a couple of U-boats, which they have the little clamps on it with the screws as well, channel locks, if you don't have channel locks, a half inch wrench will do just fine, if you don't have a half inch wrench, you can use a crafting wrench, whatever works for you, and a pair of scissors, just be careful you don't want to cut yourself. So I picked up this here at my local Walgreens. It's basically it's a suction grab bar. I'm going to try out. It might work. We'll see what happens. And of course, this flag that I have here for some time, but I just never had a chance to put it up because I didn't have a bracket to, to attach to the um, RV. And I would attach it earlier to uh, maybe the poles or different items inside of the campground. But the only problem with that, I don't want the flag to touch the ground. So I just kept it in this plastic bag. This flag here that I used when I, in my dominant style where I had it for, you know, different items for Memorial Day, Flag Day, just in general. So I like to fly the flag. I'm a very advocate person of the flag. I want to fly that. And of course, here's a flag pole. This flagpole here I had for years. I just happened to paint it white. It was yellow. It was red. It was all kind of colors at one point. But I'm going to keep it. So I painted it white. So we're going to use that. So the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to cut this here open. This is one of those packages that they pneumatically seal these um, products here where you, can, you have to use a blade or a um, pair of scissors to get into them because they have these things, whew, they have them tight where you have to get into these things where to cut them open. So I just cut that open. So what it is, I have my, pull this out here. But, uh, there's nothing else in there, so this is cool. So I'll leave that to the side. And you have this grab bar handle that you can use if you have a shower or you, someone's elderly or even yourself where you can have to grab something in the shower. This is pretty cool. But in this case, I'm going to use it for something else different. I'm going to use it for this flagpole holder. So anyway, from there, I'm going to remove this flagpole bracket. As you can see here, how it look. Pretty cool. Kind of like it. So my, my intentions here is to attach that some like, something like that, as you can see here. I hope this works, but we'll see what happens. This way I can just attach this here to the rig, have suction it on and be down so, with it. So the first thing I'm going to do here, I'm going to see if I, how I can gonna put this on. I'm thinking where I can put this flagpole holder on here with this bracket and this suction cup, something like this here. So what I'm going to do, we'll see what, what happens. This should work. It's easy. It doesn't have any holes in your RV. And you can take it as you like, as you will, I should say. Take it down. So I'm going to drill this out where these holes can be a much larger size and um, this U-boat can fit right in. So let's try it. So I graduated this hole here from a 932 drill bit 
to 11.32 drill bit. This way, the U-bolt can fit right in. So what I'm going to do is, from this suction bracket here, I'm going to go from the back side here, and I'm going to just basically push that through to fit. Give it a little persuasion here. It'll go right in, like so. So you have that. Make sure you put your bracket on, this little bracket here, and once you get it on, you put your screws in like so. Get them all tight and tightened down here. And this shouldn't hinder the connection here for the, um, the flagpole itself, the flagpole holder. So I get that all nice and tightened, but I won't tighten it down too much just because I want to take the other U-bolt here, unscrew it like so. I'm not using any safety glasses in this because, because, um, shoot, I don't really need them. I'm not using anything that's going to affect my eyes here other than the sun. And so what I'll do, I'll take this other U-bolt and I'll just push it through like so. So it goes all the way in, I'll show you. All the way in, give it a little persuasion here. You can back this one out if you need more room. And basically you just give it a little push, like that. I'm gonna back this out a little more, have some more room for the, for the cushion. I got the U-bolts in, I put the other bracket on with the um, screws, I should say. Just tighten those down lightly because we're going to use either the crescent wrench or the channel locks or whatever we have that's available. This is a 932 screw. So basically, from here, I'll go through the four corners to tighten each one down. Nice and tight. And if you have like a, some cutter, some side cutters, you can cut this off once you tighten it down. Make it look much neater. Maybe I grind it off down the road, but I don't have my grinder with me today. But that's okay, it's not going to touch the rig and it's not going to hinder the, um, the holder itself. Or well, at least it shouldn't hinder the holder itself. But I think I checked it out before, so I'll just go ahead and loose tighten this down some more much as I possibly can. So once you get it all tightened, you want to get it tight as you possibly can, I'm just going to go through all four corners just because I want this to be evenly tightened. So I got this here nice and tight. I'll cut these off later. That's the way it looks once you're done. I think it's pretty cool. And you can kind of um, grind these off down the road if you want to. This way it doesn't come nice loose. And, and I'll go ahead and put this back on. Like, as you can see here, I'll put this back on, and this is pretty simple to do. I have a washer uh, type of wing nut here. It doesn't have a washer, but it has a wing nut, but that's okay. And that's pretty cool. I think it's, I like it. And then once you grind this here off, if you want, you can spray paint all of this here one color which I'm not going to spray paint in this episode here, but you guys can get an idea what I'm trying to do. So once it's all nice and tight, this is the way it looks, something out of maybe Back to the Future or something, but this, you can tell this has been a homemade product, but once you spray it all white, but don't spray the um, suction cups here just because spray paint and suction cups don't um, adhere together. You can tape those up with some um, painter's tape and whatever you have, but don't spray paint the, these clamps here. And don't spray paint, do not spray paint, I should say, the suction cups here. So it looks pretty cool. It looks, it looks wild, futuristic, I should say. <laughs> I like it, but it, it's cool, it's cool. So let's go ahead to the next part of this pro project here and we can get started, get finished up. 
<laughs> this is cool. I'm gonna go ahead and screw this American flag onto this flagpole here. So therefore, have some holes here that I can screw into. So I'll just go ahead and some pre some pre-drill holes I'm here. Do, I'm going to release these clamps here and you have a, in the outward position, since they're released, I'll go ahead and clamp it on to Tim Rover. Don't, doesn't need any kind of moisture on it. It's a pretty warm day out here. And I'll go ahead and attach these clamps, lock it down. And this here is not going anywhere. I kind of like it. So now I'm gonna go ahead and put the flagpole on and we should be done with this project. I'm gonna assemble this here into the hole. Might have to loosen up a little bit where it can slide right in like so and of course I'm going to clamp it on like this here and I'm going to take this wing nut I'm going to move it up just a tad bit put the flag higher this is cool so I'll go ahead and tighten this here down like so this is good I'm going to show you guys a more perspective view in a moment on how it looks so basically that's all to it. So let me show you a, a different view of this flagpole that's attached to your rig. And this oh, is not this going is a anywhere. Great project. It was easy and you can put this on anywhere of your RV, on the side or wherever you want. It's not gonna go anywhere. I mean, that'll hold up to a hurricane, I think. But I wouldn't hold on to that in a hurricane. I'll get some shelter and, um, or a tornado. You never know. But anyway, that's a great project. I like it. But do me a favor, give me a thumb up if you like, hit the subscribe button, and I'll bring you another pro other project, I should say, on Tim Rover RV. Tips, tricks, ideas, and hopefully things you like. You guys take care. See you next time. Bye.